topic will be Hadoop. We're not going to be talking about how to build something in Hadoop or how to um, utilize Hadoop for big data, but we're going to be talking about uh, connecting to a Hadoop and creating a simple Hadoop uh, instance. I'll be using a, a, a Jure cloud and I'll be using it with Hortonworks. I'll be using a Hive instance and I will be plugging it into MicroStrategy Analytics Desktop 10 to uh, bring it into MicroStrategy. First, here's my instance. Uh, it's a Micro Rooster instance that I launched in uh, Microsoft Azure, which is pretty cool. You can start it and stop it anytime you want. And what I did is from the marketplace, I used uh, Horton. Uh, you could use Cloudera or any other environment you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you uh, create one of these um, Hadoop environments in the cloud, you can use this. If you have your on-premises, you can do the same thing. You just need to know your host name or your local host if it's on the same machine. And when I log into Hortonworks on the Azure cloud, it is uh, going to show me a few uh, things that I can do, the query, etc. Uh, since I'm going to be using Hive or Beeswax Hive, uh, actually I'm not going to do a lot of query writing or anything like that. I'm just going to bring in some tables and utilize them in my strategy. So the first thing I want to do is load a sample of data. I have a small sample of data that I can bring in um, from my machine. I have a simple uh, sample that I'm going to use. It's got some sales orders by order date, rep name, item, unit, unit cost, and the total dollar. And then I have a little dimension with reps and showing their region. So each rep belongs to a region. Okay. So that's the table that I'm going to use and um, load it into Hadoop. So let's create a table, let's call it sales orders. And I'm going to bring it in to choose a file. Choose your file from your local machine or whichever network drive you have. And then you get the option to choose which sheet you want. We have two sheets, but I'm going to choose one at a time. And then you can double check the type or column name, you can rename and think, change things here to match your data. Once you're done, you can create the table. You could also upload more tables. In my case, I might want to upload one more table for the demo. So I'm going to create a regions. I'm going to use the same source that I loaded. It's going to be ready for me now. Okay, and I'm going to use the second sheet, review it, and create table. Once I got my tables loaded up, I can try my tables right here. If I go to my tables like this one here, I can select something like this and either view it or browse the data, data types, and you can actually look at a sample as well into my queries and build a query off of it using Hive in this case. So you can do whatever you need to do here. If you want to create new tables or drop and add, etc., you have the full control over here in uh, your environment before you go to MicroShed. But I'm going to be satisfied with the tables that I loaded. That's good enough for me. And uh, I'm going to move to the next step. I'm going to bring up my my strategy environment and I'll start using that uh, Azure environment which is hosting my Hadoop uh, tables okay so the thing is if you want to use if you want to use the visual insight that's fine this is visual insight 10 or analytics desktop 10 as they're calling it now the first thing I want to do is add the data and this could take some time depending on your connection this is a Hadoop connection so there's two ways to go about this. The first one is to go straight in and start creating, or you can use your ODBC connection to create your ODBC. So we're gonna stop here, go and create an ODBC just to show you how that is done if you're an admin. Bring up the ODBC connector 
and I'm going to create one right here. So I did create one, so I'm just going to view it. But you can create an, a new one. And I just called it Horton, Horton Work Hive, an external ODBC I gave it. And this is my host name, port number, and it's using the default database and with an auto detection of the server. Okay, nothing fancy at this point. I could test my connection if I'm not sure. Once I get it working, I can move on and utilize it. Okay, so that's my ODBC. Now, you don't have to do that. Okay, if you want to do that on the server side, you can do that. If you don't want to do that, there's a way to get around it. So here's the two methods. The first one, we're going to build the query and use that ODBC. I can add, okay? And since I want to use the ODBC, I can just go to my DSN, select it, and here it is. I have to select the appropriate hive in my so to select the appropriate one, and you can give it the data source that you choose, okay? Once you got that done, you you have a new environment created, okay? I'm going to cancel out of this because I already have it right here. Once you do that, it takes some time to load your tables and it'll show you all the tables that you have in that environment. Now, we also have another way of doing this, I said, which is the DNA, DSN less data or DSN less data. What it allows you to do is you create the ODBC basically uh, in the system. So you say, okay, which one do I want to choose? And then in my case we said it's a hive environment so let's use the Apache hive and 14 this is the host name this is just simply my uh, cloud name in my case it was my crow hoster dot cloud so it's like um, let's use default bring them all and I would want to choose an automated detection if I'm not sure Again, username, password, and once you're done, OK. I already created this, so I'm going to show you here. One is direct using the uh, DSN list, and one is the using the ODBC created one. Okay, same stuff. Great. So let's use either one of them. The first step we want to do is add the tables. So I have. Let me add the tables of our in our project. We have regions. We have sales orders. Okay, and I'm going to link them by the rep. I'm going to grab one, point it to the other, pull the tables apart. I can click on the line, make sure it's the appropriate join that I wanted. But use the rep from the fact table, add column, and let me add the region from the dimension table. And let me add the total from the fact table. All right, so now we have three types of tables. Now look at this. I can keep the selection as is, or if it's an aggregate, I can modify. Let me modify this and make it a an aggregate sum. This will make it work better with my aggregation. Uh, property or uh, design. I can edit the SQL. This is the default SQL that it's you know creating for me. I can execute the SQL to make sure that it's producing what I thought it would be producing. This is an extra step that you could do. You could also, this is a free form SQL, you could modify the SQL here as well to get the results that you want if it's not doing exactly what you want at this point. And this is SQL, not Hive. So once your execution has succeeded, you can check your data and make sure you know, you're know you getting out of it what you want. If not, you can go back and modify. The final step is preparing your data. And this is again, just one more view. If you had multiple tables, you can add now start adding more tables to your custom queries. If you had multiple custom queries and start creating your uh, design as you go or you could modify types rename things here and let's call it when you're done you can finish it'll ask you to connect live or import 
you can remain connected live or if you have little data you bring it in with memory it depends on uh, how much filtering and how much your query is bringing back obviously one could be faster than another uh, depend on the size of the data and the type of connection so let's go with one of them and let's just I'm gonna call it my first Hadoop cube and overwrite the previous cube and then you want to create a report document or dashboard depends on your need let's just go with dashboard and this is my uh, analytics desktop or my analytics uh, uh, view in MicroStrategy 10 this is through the web but it's the same as the desktop now I can start creating my uh, report or dashboard or visualization we grab region rep and my sales data maybe a bar graph with it so I can have multiple ways of uh, presenting my data Let's see which one would be a better visualization wonder if a heat map would make more sense so these are the regions and these are the different um, the different uh, representatives and the percentage of sales there you go now you've created your first Hadoop connection and your first Hadoop thank you very much and see you again